Brown Jr. Focus winner. Today's message is, you don't have to earn God's grace. Romans 3, 23-24 For everyone has sinned. We all fall short of God's glorious standard. Yet God, in His grace, freely makes us right in His sight. He did this through Christ Jesus when He freed us from the penalty for our sins. Romans 11, 5 through 6. It is the same today. For a few of the people of Israel have remained faithful because of God's grace, His undeserved kindness for choosing them. And since it is through God's kindness, then it is not because of their good works. For in that case, God's grace is not what it really is, free and undeserved. 2 Corinthians 12, 9. Each time, he said, my grace is all you need. My power works best in weakness. So now I'm glad to boast about my weaknesses so that the power of Christ can work through me. Ephesians 2.8 God saved you by his grace when you believed. And you can't take credit for that. It is a gift from God. John 1.16 From his abundance we all receive one gracious blessing after another. Again, today's message is you don't have to earn God's grace. Now, the Spirit of God gave me this message, message and I was like, I was confused at first. I was like, why this message? And then I realized I needed this message as much as you needed this message. You know, I might say a bad word on the freeway in traffic, and then the next week, I feel like I have to do 80 hours of volunteer time. I have to give more tithing to make up for that bad word. But the Spirit of God told me, you don't have to earn God's grace. And that's true. So many of us think that we have to earn God's grace. If we slip up and make a mistake, oh my goodness, I have to go to church, work at church a little bit extra hard. I have to make up for that. But God wants you to know, you don't have to earn God's grace. Now, I have three grandchildren. I slip them money from time to time, but I never expect them to earn that money. They don't have to do 25 jumping jacks. They don't have to do 25 push-ups. I give them that money freely because I love them. It's the same thing with our Heavenly Father. He gives us grace because He loves us, not because He expects us to earn that grace. Grace, by its very definition, is free and undeserved favor. So you don't have to earn it. Now, when I was a high school junior, I used to live in my counselor's office. And I saw a program for high school juniors that was being offered by UC Santa Barbara. And I wanted to attend it so badly. It cost $650. So I went home to my parents. I said, you know what? I want to attend this special program for high school juniors to get acquainted with college life. And it's at UC Santa Barbara. It's going to, only going to cost you $650. My parents looked at me and said, are you kidding? We can't afford that. Forget it. But my mom loved me so much that she went to her brother, my uncle Kachi. She asked him if he could help. And he said, are you kidding? I'm going to pay the whole thing for him. Now, my uncle Kachi didn't pay for this because he expected me to cut his lawn or to paint his house. He did this because he loved me. He gave me grace because he loved me. It's the same thing with our Heavenly Father. He gives us grace because he loves us. 
Now all we have to do is believe it and receive it. Believe it and receive it. Believe it and receive it. And recognize it. God gives us daily grace. From as small as finding a parking spot closer to the grocery store to as big as being upgraded from a standard hotel room to a suite. So you don't have to earn God's grace. Just believe it and receive it.